Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Siobhan Ritchie and I would love it if you went ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way you'll always be informed of all my eyeshadow and makeup tutorials. Today's look is a very natural type everyday look I guess you could say. You could also wear this look for Easter, wear it to church on Sunday if you go to church a lot and also just an everyday quick put together go-to type of look and I hadn't done a full face of makeup in ages so that's what we're going to do today if you like to see how I got this very natural youthful look then go ahead and stay tuned I like to start off prepping my face with Neutrogena's ultra sheer sunscreen I normally get it in 100 SPF they were all out so they had 70 and now work just fine I also like to use Sky Organics coconut oil which I use to dab underneath my eye to keep it moisturized. Next I'm going to go in with NYX concealer CJ04. I like this concealer because it's light and it's great to wear during the spring and summer times when the humidity gets a little bit higher. I'm going to cover up some light dark circles. Why did I say light dark? I'm going to cover up some, some dark circles and I'm going to also cover up some chicken pox scars as well. These are the Face Secret Makeup Wedges. And we're going to go in with Fenty Beauty's Matte Foundation in number 360. I like to place this foundation underneath the eyes and in my T-zone. I love it because it's a matte finish and I won't have to worry about extra shine that I don't want in those areas. Next I'm going in with Revlon's Photo Ready Airbrush Effects in the color Caramel, number 010. This will add moisture and a little bit of more youthful glow to the rest of my face. I love this Nikki Garrett Contour Duo in Dark. This is probably the second time I've purchased this one, I believe. I like to lightly go in and contour my face, just to give a little bit more dimension.
Next, I'm going in with this buttercup setting powder. And the thing of it is, I always see girls baking, baking, and baking. As you get older, you start to get more creases under your eyes, and baking doesn't really work for me. It wants to settle in those creases, so what I do is lightly tap the brush and lightly put it maybe a half an inch away from right directly underneath my eyes. I get my T-zone everywhere I don't want it to have extra shine. Next, we're going in with Revlon's Colorstay Eyebrow Pencil in dark brown. Since my hair is now red, we're just going to use this to kind of give me a guideline of my eyebrows. And then we're going to go in with um, the eyeshadow palette. Now this is the Beauty Glaze palette, which is the dupe of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, which I absolutely love. I recommend buying it. <laughs> and this brown has a little bit of red tint in it, so that's the reason why I'm using it to color in my eyebrows. Also, all products used in this video will be listed down below in the description box and links of where I purchased all the products. Now we're just going to take this orange color and we're going to go into the crease lines. We want to really, really focus on that and pull the color upwards, lightly fading out any harsh lines. Now we're gonna go in with this cream color. And I like to go ahead and do right underneath my brow line because that also helps with blending in that transition color as well and softening everything up. Also dusting it underneath the eye will help open up the eyes as well. We're going with this light peachy color and we're just going to hit the inner corners of the eye. We're going to go in with this gold shimmer color and we're just going to pat it on the center of the eyes. Next, we're going to take this brown, which is a little bit lighter brown than the other ones in the palette, and we're going to go ahead and get the outer corners and also pull it into the crease. The leftover eyeshadow on the brush, we're just going to pull down underneath the eye. This is what's going to help give it that subtle smoky look. We're going to go ahead and lightly blend this in.
Next, we're gonna go in with the darker brown. And instead of using black eyeliner, we're gonna use that as our eyeliner. We want this to be a soft, but put together glam look. We're just gonna catch the lash line a little bit with the same color. And of course, we're gonna smoke it out. Now we're using Benefit's Bad Gal Mascara. This look is great for daytime, but can also be easily transitioned into an evening look by just popping on lashes. I love this highlight in this duo palette. It's such a beautiful golden color. It's great during the spring and summer times when you're going to the beach or you're going to the pool or you just wanna walk around in a beautiful little sundress and you wanna be golden. I love this highlight because it's so golden. It gives your skin this beautiful glow. This is a MAC lipstick. I'm not for sure what the name of it is because it's worn off on the bottom, but if I can find or figure out what it is, I'll have that listed down below as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'd love it if you went ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I would love to hear back from you guys. And have a wonderful day.